Hello, my name is Clark Potter. I'm the viola professor at University of Nebraska-Lincoln. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the bow change at the frog and the mechanics of the arm to make that happen. This will just take a minute. And it takes a while to practice and put into practice and make habit, but to describe it just takes a little bit of time. In this uh, case, what we're doing is we're talking about how to, get, how to make the mechanics of the arm, the hand, the wrist work. The simplest way to think of it is that uh, when we're taking an up bow stroke, when we get to about 90 degrees with the elbow, the arm begins to raise very slightly, not noticeably. No one who was watching you would even know it was happening. But when you get to about here, the, the arm begins to raise slightly, takes you up closer to the wrist, uh, uh, closer to the frog. As that happens, the advantage of it is that we don't get caught with our elbow near our rib cage. In this case, we come here. Then as we do the down bow stroke, the, the, we make those couple inches back up. The arm drops a little, and then the rest of the hand follows eventually. So it's almost like arm, elbow, wrist, hand, fingers. And that all comes about because when we get to about 90 degrees, then the arm raises. So let me see if I can make this happen for you uh, as you're watching. So what's actually going on is that the arm begins to the downbow stroke long before the bow ever begins to downbow stroke. And it makes this motion happen with the bow. I'll let you see it one more time. I think that ought to do it for this simple little tutorial. Now, putting it into practice takes more time, but uh, that's the process. Now, go practice. <laughs>